Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, I'll show you how to fix corrupted videos like this. So this could happen while transferring data from a USB file or from a hard drive. And when you open those kind of files, it will tell you this file cannot be opened. And in today's video, I'll show you how to fix corrupted videos such as the one that you're seeing in front of you. Hi guys, it's Ian back with you with a new video and I hope you're all doing well. Now before we dive into the tutorial, I wanted to kindly ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. Based on my analytics, uh, only 4% of my viewers are subscribed, so if you want to be the first to view the videos that I post, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. So let's head into the tutorial. Now this video is completely straightforward and easy, I'll show you everything you need to know. As you can see I have a file here, if I try to open it, uh, my QuickTime player or any video player per se will tell you that this file cannot be opened because it's corrupted. Now today's video I'll show you how to fix that. So just for the sake of the tutorial I'll try to open it with another video playback application but it still gives me the same issue. In fact when I try to open it with VLC the application actually crashes and it says that the application is no longer responding. Now despite the fact that the video cannot be played it might even affect your computer's performance so in today's video I'll show you how to fix that as well. So you need to go to a website in the description, uh, it's going to be very easy, the program or the application is called Wondershare Repair It. This app is extremely easy to use, they have a web based application and they also have a desktop application. You can download the desktop application for both Windows and Mac and I'll give you the option to corrupt videos or to fix corrupted videos very easily. So the application has extremely an easy to use and straightforward UI and so it will be easily going back and forth to this application to fix uh, corrupted videos from uh, memory cards, SD cards, USB flash drives or computers or even your phone. Despite the fact that the application has a free to use web, uh, web based application you can also download the paid version of the desktop application in case you feel like it. But for today's video I'll show you how to do both. Now to, to download the desktop version all you need to do is click on download. It will start downloading the installer. Uh, on Mac it's easily installed, uh, on Windows you have a setup wizard and it's as easy as that as well. So obviously I'm going to click on the installer, I'm going to go through the installation wizard and I'll just tap on or click on install and the application should start installing once it's downloaded from the servers of Wondershare. Now the application is very easy to use like I said. You can also use the desktop or the web based application if you feel like it and if you guys are enjoying the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Now the application is now installed, I'm going to open it just for the sake of certainty. As you can see you can easily add a video and then start fixing that video. So let's go back to the web based version, uh, obviously the web based version does not require any installation process whatsoever. You easily go to the web based application and the link for this is in the description box as well. You click on add or you just drag a video, the one that's corrupted. So obviously. It's not opening the video because it's corrupted. I'm going to drag the video onto the website and then it will start uploading the video and once the uploading process is finished, it will start fixing the video. So obviously it's now 0% uh, all the way. It's now repairing the video and as you can see, video repair is successful. Now you can see in front of you that the video is now playable. In fact, I can even download it to have it stored just like the original format of the video before it was corrupted. It's easily fixable like this. So I'm going to click on download, I'm going to save it to the same folder that I had my corrupted video on just to show you that uh, the difference between the two are very very straightforward. In fact the e repair process on this application or on this web based application is very easy. So as you can see now in the folder I have two files with the same name. The, the one on the left is the corrupted file, the one that cannot be opened and the one on the right is the one that got fixed. So. If you guys have questions on how to use this application or if you have any problems facing this application make sure to comment below, I'll easily help you out. And for Windows you can easily download this application as well. And uh, I think that's it for today's video. Let me know if the video was helpful and let me know if you have any recommendations for future videos that you need me to make. Having said that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.